hello guys in the last video tutorial we have added items to the recycler view and in this tutorial we will add option menu pop-up when we will click on any one of the items options menu for that we will have to first create android resource directory in resource folder name it menu and this will be menu press ok and here in menu directory we have to create a menu resource file let's name it pop-up menu pop menu press ok now menu resource file is created here we will create item with title let's say edit and give an id let's say edit and here shows as action we will pass here never and for delete item we will create another item for delete title delete id will be let's delete and so as action same never now these items have been created in menu resource file now here come to the my adapter class and here we will set on click listener to menu pop-up using holder dot menu pop-up dot set on click listener and here new on click listener in on click method we will create pop-up menu using pop-up menu this is and uh, let's say pop-up menu using new pop-up menu and here we will pass the first parameter as context and the other parameter will be view this view that is passed in on click method and after this we will get menu inflator in pop-up menu dot inflate r dot menu dot pop-up menu and here we will pass pop-up menu dot get menu pop-up menu dot so this will show the pop-up menu now let's run the app and see the pop-up menu is showing or not in the app so the app is running now now click on any one of the options menu you can see the pop-up menu is showing but we have not implemented the code for edit and delete so now we will set on item click listener in pop-up menu new pop-up menu and here in on menu item click we will use switch case using item dot get item id and here in case r dot id dot edit let's say first parameter and we will show a toast for edit edit clicked edit clicked and uh, let's break call break and just copy this and paste it here for delete r dot id dot delete and we will show this as delete clicked and then we have to return this as true now we have to implement the deletion method when we will click on delete item for that we have to create a model object temporary in which we will store the name and image view for undo process using new model list dot get position dot get name and list dot get position dot get image now we have stored this before deleting the item now we have to create a delete method that we will call when we will click on delete item let's say delete item and here we will pass argument as int position that which item to be deleted using now to delete any one of the item list dot remove at position and uh, now notify item removed at index position the above two lines will delete the item now we have to and to reposition the rest item after deleted item we have to use notify item range changed using position 
and the second parameter list dot size now we have to call this in delete clicked delete item and pass the parameter position now let's run the app the app is running let's click on edit edit clicked and uh, delete clicked you can see the item reposition its position animation now for function of an undo we have to create snack bar snack bar press alt enter add this dependency write the same snack bar as i have written here now dot make and here we have to pass a view so in delete item we have to create pass another item argument that is view and pass here as view and the second argument will be undo that is the message undo deletion of plus temp dot get name that is the name will be shown using temporary variable and the last parameter will be snack part dot length long and set action undo this will be clickable when we will click on undo the undone will be done new on click listener in on click method list dot add that item at position just alt enter and enter for creating it as final and notify item inserted at po index position and also notify item range changed that will be animating the items and uh, set accent text color we will set the color for accent text color that is undo color m context dot get resources dot get color and the color will be android dot r dot color dot hollow blue dark and we will show the snack bar here we have passed two arguments so we have to pass another argument that is view in on click method v and that's it now let's run the app now the gradle build is running installed successfully now click on option menu click on delete it will delete that item you can see the snack bar is showing at bottom click on undo everything is working fine now we have to add one more thing that is the option menu color for that we have to go to values and here in style.xml here we have to create item name with uh, item background and write colon item background and here we have to pass the color that we want to show and that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe and like the video